right, here we go, guys. We are on Sound Avenue. We're in Mattituck right now, heading east. Did see a Grady White, very similar to the one we showed in the last video that I think was 6,300 bucks. That one was with an inboard outboard. Looked like the same vintage on a trailer with an outboard. So it's a couple miles up ahead. We'll see, uh, we'll see how much, what uh, condition she's in. And we got a couple of other boats that I'm gonna check out. It's very early in the morning. It's, uh, is it even six o'clock? It's the other camera beeping off, ignore that. Um, but we should be there very, very shortly. And then we got a couple of other boats uh, west, uh, east of here. So we're gonna, we're going west first, then we're gonna loop around on this road jump on the south road uh, also known as 25 and check out those two boats and we'll see what they're priced at what condition they're in and whether they're a good buy or not we'll check back in in a minute and it's going to be less than a minute and I actually know I can turn in here Here's the Grady. Maybe a little smaller than the other one. Is this a 22? No, it's a 24. It's the same. It's an Explorer 24. Let's see what we got. It's the same exact boat as last time as the last video, the $6,300 boat. It's a little newer. This is a 94. There's the phone number. Call or text 631-275-3013. Runs great. Hey, somebody made the comment on the other one that uh, it runs and drives or runs well. I don't remember exactly. 19.9, so just under 20K for a 24 foot Grady White. A little bit of mold here, but this buffs out. Yeah, Yamaha 225. This is a two stroke. There's a swim ladder. Let's confirm the year. Yeah, it's a 94, there's the hen. That's how you know. The last two digits are the year. It's a local boat, Mattituck boat. A little bit of the inside, nice layout, nice cabin. Not sure about any electronics, I don't see a radar. See two antennas up there, spreader lights also, right up there, two of them. Some canvas to keep you protected. I mean, it's an older two-stroke, and, you know, these boats are, let's see if it does have a trailer, too. I presume the trailer comes with it. It's a Sea Lion trailer. Looks like it's in okay shape. It's seen better days. This one's missing the cap for the, for the hub. Um, I don't know if I would want to take this across the country. But you can see the layout here, a couple seats there. Little tackle area there with four rock rod holders. No rod holders on top, no rod holders on the side, but it's a true walk around. You can walk all the way up to the front, decent room, couple of uh, ice boxes on either side where you can stick your fish or some ice, some storage under each seat, two captain's chairs, and a uh, little seat back on that one over there behind this chair. Uh, Three-piece design. These are made with wood this year. Uh, Grady used wood for a long time. And it's a full 24 feet. You see it's on a bracket. So modern boats, most modern boats are Euro transomed where the measurement of the boat goes to the end of that Euro bracket, a better way of explaining it. I'm not doing it justice, but this is 24 feet to here. So from this point of the boat to the bow, they don't count this two, two and a half foot setback for the, for the bracket. This should be a CV2 hull, which is 20 degrees. I do see a, a couple of transom mount transducers. So presumably at one point, this did have some electronics on it. Trying to see up there. I don't see any right now. There is an electronics box up there if you wanted to stick a radio up there. I don't think this is a bad deal for 20 grand. I think it's fairly priced. I don't think it's a great deal. I don't think it's a horrible deal. Uh, nice boat. You can certainly take this offshore. No issue with the bays. 
the Long Island Sound or your local sound. There is a stainless prop on the motor. And again, if the motor goes, you know, you're probably looking at 25 grand for a modern four-stroke outboard. And yeah. A little bit of corrosion. So this is the 225 TXRR model made in Japan. Really nice boat though. I don't think the Lexus comes with it for for 20k. All right, let's go up the road and see if we can find those two other boats. All right, thanks again to Dale for the recommendations. And allegedly there's one right here by Advanced Auto in Mattatuck. So we're on uh, Route 25 in Mattatuck and there's a deer crossing the road. Come on, guy, there's light out. You shouldn't be crossing right now. So one of the things I'm always super wary about when I when I go to my boat early in the morning for a charter, or even I'm, I'm always up early, I'm up usually for something. I'm going to get coffee in the morning from 7-Eleven. I am going below the speed limit. You do not want to be stuck behind me. There are so many friggin' deer out here and they just cross the road with no regard for traffic. You see, unfortunately, dead ones by the side of the road all the time. They're, they're a real nuisance here. I'll say that. There it is. I just passed it. Crap, I just passed it. All right, let me go around. Let me pull a Huey. Man, that one is well camouflaged. It was on my deer kick, and I drove right by it. Looks like it's another Grady. So I am going to park right here and walk across the street. It's still early. It's, it literally just turned 6 a.m. All right, let's see what we got here. All right, I'm crossing the road. There's a car coming, but I'm okay. It's not a Grady, it's a C Pro. And you could drive right by this and not see it. 7,500, a 97 C-Pro, new engine, 73 hours. Guys, this looks like a deal. 7,500, there's the number. Michael, 631-896-9491. A 21-foot C-Pro walk-around. Very similar to that other Grady, except obviously smaller. It does have a little bimini top there to give you some protection. Dual axle trailer. Looks like it's branded C Pro. I don't think it does have a spare up there. I don't think C Pro made trailers. Oh, new engine, but it's an inboard outboard. Oh, I was hoping this would be an outboard. Looks like they uncovered it. It's under the trees. So there is some, this looks very fresh and recent, but a very similar layout to that Grady we just saw with the exception of the engine box here. It does have four integrated rod holders into the engine box. I'm sure this is uh, access to batteries on either side. Very similar to that Grady, you have these two storage areas. You can use them for drinks, coolers, two captain's chairs, a little cuddy cabin, little walk around area, that Bimini. I don't see any electronics on it. Um, 7,500, the key's in it. Maybe we can drive it away. Uh, couple rod holders on each side of the gunnels. You know, a little cramped here because of the box here, but if you want to get into a boat cheap, similar to that Grady, an integrated boarding ladder here. Somebody was cleaning it, obviously. Mercruiser, inboard, outboard. It does have a transducer, some big trim tabs. Let's confirm the year. Yeah, 97, a little faded, but 97. Proline, uh, one of the most popular Florida brands for many, many, many years. I would imagine this size, this is a 3.0, um, a small engine, not super expensive to work on. Um, you know, these inboard outboards get a bad rap. This is probably an Alpha 1, I would assume. Uh, given the size of the boat, I don't think you need to jump up to the Bravo series for these. These are generally very reliable. It's a four-blade prop. Uh, pardon me, it's a three-blade prop. Uh, I'll learn how to count one of these days. And 
you can see there's a piece missing here from the skeg, but not a big deal. Pretty aggressive dead rise, I would guess 20, 21 degrees. Um, so it needs a little bit of cleanup, but new engine, you know, 7,500. And this one, this one's hard to spot. You literally drive right by it before you even see it because there's camouflage on either side. There's trees on this side. Uh, I guess if you're coming this way, you can see it a little better if you're heading east to west. Uh, but they do have a big sign here. Boat for sale, 7,500. All right, there you go. All right, we got one more little further east from here. Let's, uh, let's get back to the very dirty truck or NART, not a real truck. It's a Honda Ridgeline. Let's see what we got next. All right, as luck would have it, we're stuck behind this garbage truck. Sanitation truck, sorry, to all the uh, sanitation workers out there. The 7-Eleven in South Hold is right ahead of us. And the reason I'm above this truck is in front of us. Well, he's going slow enough that I'm not the one holding up traffic. I just don't want to miss the boat because I'm being blocked by him. Grateful Deli, nice little deli spot. There's the 7-Eleven just east of it. So it is going to be up here somewhere. Oh, in a perfect world, this garbage truck would turn away somewhere, but he's not going to. Just east of the 7-Eleven. Here it is, oh, it's a little whaler. All right, I'm gonna park here and take a little walk. Little whaler, oh boy. We might have 320K today, guys. All right, let's go see what we So in case you're wondering, it's by uh, Hampton Hearth, Fireplace and Patio. There it is, that looks like a 13. Let's see what we got. For sale. 1980 13 foot Boston Whaler, 40 horsepower, two stroke. Call Rob, 631 603 6715. There's the price 7250, little single axle load right trailer. Battery, simple functional layout. Non these don't sink. Two bench seats here. You sit there, drive the boat. One other passenger up here if you like, or somebody next to you I'm not sure I would put more than two on this it does have a bilge pump looks very clean looks in really good shape um, hey if you want a cheap way of getting out on the water uh, aluminum prop 40 horsepower Merc and oh, this plate has seen better days but I'll take the seller's word for it that it's that it's a uh, a 1980, not a bad little boat, a little storage area up here if you want to stick a, a small anchor, non-skid here, uh, not much to say about this boat other than, you know, they're legendary hulls, these, they've made tens of thousands of these 13s and 15s and up to 17 with the, the Montauk, uh, you know, it's, it's, relatively flat it's got this really wide front not much of a v up here so you, you don't want to take this out on a choppy day i'm sure you will feel every bump but uh for 7250 on a little tiny boat that's easy to trailer get you out in the long island sound get you out in any of your bays i don't know if i would take this out in the ocean uh but I'm sure there's people out there that do. A couple rod holders there. Yeah, if you want to just single hand a boat and just do some fishing, do some cruising, have some fun on a weekend, this is awesome. This is awesome. And you can see it's got a roller, roller trailer. It should slide on and off fairly easily. It was bottom painted. I assume it was kept in the water. This was me, I would just trailer this. 
But yeah, puts around at uh, 20, 22 miles an hour with a little 40 on this really light boat. It probably weighs nothing. Um, could do a lot worse. All right, let's go back to the car, which is pretty far away, and uh, I'll offer you my thoughts. All right, we're back. And an interesting pick of three boats there, all under 20K. I like that first Grady, I think, the most, uh, albeit with an older engine, still. Uh, CV2 hull, I think. I'll see if I can confirm. I'll, I'll pop a, a message. I believe that was a 94. I want to say the CV2 hull started around there. Um, that That's a variable dead rise hull where it's deep in the front, tapers in the back, lets the boat plane off easier. And uh, it still maintains a relatively deep feet throughout the boat, so you get a, a pretty good ride. That little whaler was awesome too if, if I wanted to have some fun if I wanted to just you know bring the boat quickly to the ramp which I have a ramp luckily a couple miles from my house not even a, it, it, perhaps a drop under a mile from my house a state ramp um, and you know just get out for a night striper bite or or catch some sea bass out in in the Long Island Sound and of course um, that Proline had a new engine, but it's an inboard outboard. Not really what I would want, but I know there's plenty of folks out there who've had inboard outboards. Super easy to work on, super reliable. Uh, let me know in the comments what your thoughts are, which would you pick and why. Hope you enjoyed this video. As always, if you like these videos, hit that like button. And if you're not already a subscriber and you like content like this, please consider subscribing.